up, everybody? What's going on? I hope all of y'all are doing fan freaking tastic out there. Alright, so before I get into the main topic of this video, there's something I need to uh, talk about as a favor to somebody. Right? Now, I've got to do this in person eventually to random people. Right? Only problem with that is, I'm kind of shy. Alright? But I know Lord's gonna get me through that, you know? But anyway, um, one of the church I go to, um, Water Baptist Church, they have partnered up with the website called TrueLife.org. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up to the camera so you can see it good. Alright. And this card is an invitation to come to my church, but really, in all honesty, it's just an invitation to go to a church in general, right? But, um, anyway, the main topic of TrueLife.org is this. If you have any Christian-related questions, any faith-related questions, then TrueLife.org can educate you on those, right? As a matter of fact, I bet that there's things on this website that I don't even know. Alright. So, yeah, y'all go to truelife.org. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And if y'all feel like you can go down there and just check it out, you know. So, yeah, moving on. The first topic of discussion here on my handy dandy list is that I have rescheduled the live stream. Originally, I did have the schedule for June 24th, but I decided to move it to till the 17th, which is next Monday. So yeah, um, still gonna be the same time, 4 p.m. So come through, hang out with me while I'm live so I'm not looking there looking stupid and at a screen just waiting for somebody to pop up. And heck, who knows, I might actually do some chat roulette come the 17th. We'll see what happens. Alright, next, um, I have decided to wait a little longer before making the Patreon. Reason being is because if y'all, if y'all been paying attention, my match with Elijah Proctor was my fifth match with my fourth opponent. And do y'all remember what I said? I said that once I had my fifth singles match or my fifth singles opponent, that's when I would have made the Patreon. Only problem with that is, I've lost every match. And as far as wrestling goes here in SSP, I don't want to be known for just taking L's all the time. Alright, so what I've decided to do was, I'm going to upload more matches, and the Patreon will only be created when I have as many victories as I do defeats. So, let's, as an example, let's say I lose 8 matches, alright? I would need to win eight more matches, right? So, you know what? Nine more matches. I need to have more victories than I do defeats. So, if I end up having eight matches with eight losses, then that means I need to have eight more. I need to have at least nine more matches with victories. So, when that Haley's Comet passes, when that, when all those stars align, that's when I create the Patreon. All right. Alright, next, moving on, um, some people out there may be thinking, may be thinking that, uh, it's bad that I'm losing. I mean, yeah, it is, but I was texting the friend earlier this week, and I told him, look, I don't need a three count to be, vic to be victorious in a match, because I love pro wrestling so freaking much, and the fact that I'm getting to wrestle right now is a victory in its own right. <coughs> And I don't need a three count to prove that. So, yeah, um, but me actually losing makes sense. All right, we have to keep in mind, I'm just a rookie here. Everybody I step in the ring with for now is very, everybody I step in the ring with right now is a lot more talented than me so far, so far now, and they have a lot more experience than me. So I need to take these L's and keep learning as the ball keeps rolling. Sooner or later, I'm going to get a victory. 
until then, I just gotta keep trying, okay? I gotta keep trying, and I gotta, and I gotta keep booyah, alright? Alright, so, now, on another note, this was something I was supposed to talk about last week, but I didn't get around to it, but, um, remember what I said I had to take my time this year? As we get to SSP's 5th anniversary, I think that might actually be a good idea because, let's be honest, I think I'm running out of ideas. And, yes, I have a whole book full of ideas in the house, but I gotta save, I, I gotta save those, alright? Heck, back in 2017 and 2018, I uploaded for 101 days in a row, right? This past year, 2018 to 2019, I uploaded for 113 days in a row. That's over 200 videos that I wasted. All right, over 200 videos that I wasted that I could have saved for the future, right? For a bigger audience. All right. So now that those, the bad thing is that every video that I've already uploaded in the past, if I do get big. There's no guarantee that those big audience numbers are going to go back and take a look at what I've done in the past. Okay? So, I've already wasted 800 videos so far. Over 800 videos at this point. So I need to take my time, go slow, and save my ideas. Alright? Another reason why i got to take my time is that I am trying so desperately to get this video finished by August 30th, right? Technically July 30th because I need at least a good month to help promote it, right? And I'm talking about my next roast movie of the roast of, uh, Flaming, of Dar Flaming of Darkness. I need to work on the title. But I'm still writing that movie. I think I'm like at the halfway point so far. And I found another co-writer. I'm not going to talk about him just yet. And... He's helping me out with Mr. Black Darkness so far, right? And I'm still trying my darndest, and I'm still praying to the Lord above to help me get to collab with Bruce Dropamoff. The only issue is Bruce Dropamoff is too successful to remember who I am, and I'm just another face in this big crowd. So, I don't want to say it's downright impossible to talk to Bruce Dropamoff, but it probably is if he just ignores everybody. So, yeah, I, I just really need some help trying to contact Bruce, drop him off. But yeah, I guess I can go and wrap this vlog up now. Enjoy the week of SSP that's coming up. And until next time, make sure you be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah, I'm out. And here comes my hug of appreciation. Bye.